He's Kirby. Not at all. I think he's more of a puff, right? Uh, he's a different kind of floaty. Yeah, usually he goes puff. I don't know what's going on here. I guess, you know, this is So they must have double blind. Yeah. And for sure. I think KD3 knows that. And KD3 yeah. chose to go Kirby. Yeah. I think KD3 knows Dogs does not like this matchup. Yeah, does maybe. Not uh, like it. You know, I've always said. <laughs> my analogy for KD3 is like that there's that monster in Harry Potter that's like a closet and you open it and it's whatever you're most afraid of. I don't remember what it's called. Is that whatever you're most afraid of is the form it takes. And that's KD3. Yeah. KD3 will play whatever character you're worse against, no matter what it is. If it when I was playing Puff, he went Samus against me. One time. Oh wow. Does KD3 have a Samus? It turns out he does. Yeah, he, no, he went Fox he, he, against me once because he <laughs> thought that would be a bad matchup. He'll go Puff, he'll go Kirby, he'll go Pikachu, he'll go Falcon. Anything that he thinks you have a weakness to is what he'll go. So seeing him go Kirby here, even though we very rarely see him go Kirby, uh, is not too surprising because that's kind of his game plan. You know, maybe he's a little inspired by his teammate Stevie G. Stevie yeah, G is a, is a Kirby player. Maybe he's like, you know, I want a little bit of action too. I want to just up tilt in place and, you know, do 50% off of it, and then into Ooh. it. This is, oh. Weird F smash there from dogs. This is what makes it so tough for- Oh, he managed oh, to make it back. it back! This is what makes it so tough for Falcon, right? Is and that- the grab! That was crazy turnaround! Kirby has to do less to get more, and Falcon has to do more- To, to get less. To get less. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Despite that insane turnaround there on the previous stock. Now, it's absolutely... Kate still does have the lead. Yeah, it's doable for Falcon, right? Because Falcon, he can still get his, like, his standard going. Where's the DI? But as I'm saying this, KD... Where's the DI? Where is the DI? That was a lot of damage. 96%. I, I don't just know why... He, yeah, I don't know why I was just taking it. Is that Hyman? <laughs> nice edge guard there from KD. Dogs. A little off, I yeah, feel like. I feel like with the DI, the he, defensive game, maybe he wasn't ready for the Kirby. He was shooken. Yeah, he's like, okay, you know, it's going to be a Falcon Ditto, or I'm going to get like a Puff or even a, a Pikachu. But yeah. now Katie's like, I'm playing Kirby. Close Kirby, yeah. He must have, you know, got a little one level above in that mind game. It is yeah. really the pure mind game when you see those, you know, character selection yeah. and double blinds. It, that's what it can be at, at the high level, too. It's like just. It's not only outplaying your opponent when it comes to moves, it's outplaying your opponent up here too. Yeah. Any kind of mental advantage helps. We've seen this before with dogs even. So I would say that like, it's kind of like he's getting his own medicine right now. Yeah, yeah, this is kind of dogs' strategy as well. So it is, uh, it is fitting. All right, and Katie, Took that pretty convincingly, I think. Maybe lost a stock. Kirby so did it. Okay, okay. okay, so I think I think what's happening is KD3 is staying with Kirby, and Dogs is switching to Pikachu. And dogs, Dogs, Pikachu. It's it's Dogs, right? So he can still play Pikachu, but I wouldn't say he's like a Pikachu aficionado. You know, like he's he's not a not a Pikachu. You know. He's been using a lot of Pikachu online. Sure, and, sure. You know, he's getting better at the at the Pikachu Ditto. I, I think I think this makes sense for, for KD3 to stay Kirby and basically force Dogs to show him that he's good at the yeah. matchup. And if Dogs wins, then, you know, if KD3 wins, then KD3 will probably switch yeah. in the future to avoid this matchup. Yeah. But he's going to say, you know, prove it. Yeah. Prove it before I switch off Kirby. Prove that you're actually yeah. going to beat me in this matchup. I actually like that he stayed Kirby. You know... It is tough for Kirby, no doubt, right? But Kirby can still do Ooh, his thing recovery. all the same. Yeah. I think it becomes more tough the more percent Pikachu has, because it's just like, oh, I gotta kill Pikachu. But right here, this is nice for Kirby. Yeah, it's, it's far from horrible for Kirby. I think part of the challenge is that this is just really not a matchup that KD3 plays a lot of. Sure. You know, he's not already like, not really a Kirby main. Yeah. And like, Kirby Falcon is okay, like, it has kind of a, it's not really a Kirby matchup, it's it's almost more of a Falcon matchup. Yeah, sure. You know, it's like it has this very specific uh, game plan. Dog this this matchup, a, a little more testing in terms of your your Kirby skill as a yeah. player. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But he's, 
I think he learns from Stevie. You know, he, he's just, you know, earlier today he did doubles with Stevie, and I'm sure. And Hammerheart, maybe, yeah, too. Yeah, Hammerheart as well, yeah. The PA guy is definitely, he definitely knows and understands how to play Kirby. He just chooses not to, but maybe this is his debate. Oh, you know? this is the ledge. Maybe we'll see more of the KD3 Kirby. Yeah. Kirby, Kirby D3. Kirby D3. No, Hammerheart doing well. One Keystone with the help of that Kirby. Maybe uh, that was a little bit of an inspiration. Yeah, there for, for sure, for sure. Catches yeah. him with that forward air really nice, but the defensive up tilt from Dogs yeah, and saves I, himself. I think this is why I, I just don't... Dogs is dogs, right? But I just don't think he's the aficionado when it comes to Pikachu because I don't think his punish game is as strong as, like, a Kiro. I mean, that's a tall order, right? But still. Yeah, maybe not as strong as his punish game with Falcon, too. Yeah. yeah. Just not as not quite as comfortable. And I and I feel that's very key, especially when your Pikachu has Curry, because if you make those like starters Ooh. count, it can mean a lot. <laughs> that pivot grab was so fast from K3. Just an incredibly fast dash back, dash back, and grab to uh, secure that stock. Look kind of like Falcon esque. And KD3 is playing a very careful Kirby, too. He's not going too in. He's not, you know, trying too hard to get percent. He's kind of just letting it happen as it happens. And sort of, I would say, even punishing, like, dog's aggression in good spaces as well. Yeah, he's looking good. Man, this would be such a brutal match to go down 2-0. Yeah, you for sure. You don't want to sure. double one and then go no. down 2-0. Just no. horrible. It means you're going to get counterpicked forever. His his Kirby's looking tight, but Dogs Dog, nice have not there. out of it. This yeah, is a good matchup even. for Pikachu. He's just got to get something going. Well, I like that ledge cancel. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> he stole that from me. I do that. Wow. Oh. And he gets a tech chase. Yeah, nice tech chase on that top platform. So that could be yeah, the kill. Yeah, this is what we're oh, talking about. for another up so that's oh, what they, we're talking he about. He could definitely nair there and just kill him. But okay. As I was saying, maybe a little bit of commentary is cursed. I'm like, if he can just get those punishes and... Yeah, he you know. looks like he can. Ooh, that pivot movement. I love KD3's movement. He's so fast. A nice fast fall there to uh, escape the bad situation. And now the onus is on KD3. This is where it sucks for Kirby, I think. It's good when you have the advantage, and you know, yeah, it's like, okay, percent yeah. is an unfun percent. Yes. See, like, the backer doesn't give him remotely close to dying. No. Nair's not going to kill And now it's just going to be like, oh, I just got to yeah. keep hitting Pikachu, yeah, and he keeps and coming over. back. Yeah, it's so frustrating. Meanwhile, you know, your recovery is so much more dangerous. Yep. The backer is still not going to kill. Nair finally does it, though. Gets yeah, the strong Nair. And uh, we're in a last stock situation. This time with Dogs in the lead, so Dogs pulling it back yeah. a little bit. Seems like he's getting a little more he, used to the matchup. He's at a meaty percent, too. Like, I think three pivot up to Pikachu likes it when Kirby is getting to that percent where the back air will send him farther away and have an opportunity to edge guard him. And Kirby does not like the fact that Pikachu's at zero right now. But, oh, oh finds a big huge. opening. Big, nice big, DI big. there. DI's too far away. And KD3 goes for the weak backer Even anyway. Game. I think you're going to see a lot of oh, trades catches here. catches him with the up air. As I'm saying that. And runs off with another up air. This could be it. Yeah. 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 Really good edge guarding there from Dog. Oh, you see that, that little pop off from Dog. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. I would be fist bumping yeah. too. Yeah. Yes. It's all, it's all these, how did that... Uh, how did that culture come to be for for esports? Like the, the fist bump? The po no, just the pop offs. Like oh, people, oh, full full on yeah, pop offs. Yeah, or well, just a little bit of you Fair know enough. fanfare. I mean, people do that uh, in, in regular sports too. Sure, you know? sure. It's nothing too crazy. So you think people are just taking it from that? I think it's moment. just natural impulse, you know. You think so? Like when something you, good happens. I think I've seen a pop off from you where it was kind of. Oh, I've done some little yeah, pop offs. Like, did a little bit of yes. Did a little fist bump a little action. Fist bump. <laughs> A little fist bump action in there. I don't know about jumping out of my seat or anything. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I can do no that. Chair either. throwing. Yeah, or yeah, yeah they no, do no, melee, but. yeah, no hungry box. If any melee yeah. fans are watching, rolling around on the floor crying. No, not, not yeah. so much of the. But uh, yeah, it's a tasteful fist bump. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And so interesting. Uh, oh. Dogs chose to stick with Pikachu, which okay. makes sense. So he has to pick first, having won the game. It uh, doesn't want to go to Falcon because he'll get counterpicked. So he sticks with Pikachu. And KD3 
goes with Pikachu himself, oh. challenges dogs to the ditto. So, you know, KD3, pretty famous for being good at uh, Falcon He's Pikachu, but he just says, dogs, I'm going to beat you in the ditto. KD3 has a lot of good Pikas to practice on. He's got low. He's got Hammerheart, who, you know, more... Yeah, more and more playing Pikachu. More and more Josh. playing Pikachu. He's got Josh. You know, he's here. Yep, he's got Finio. There's a lot of Pikachus in, in PA. A lot of Pikachus, so I definitely don't see why he wouldn't be like, okay, you know, we can do this. Well, look do at this, this all day. Custom combo here. This is fair. Yeah, it's interesting, though. I mean, K3 is just so good at Falcon Pika. I was surprised that, that he didn't go for that. But uh, maybe, you know, he saw dogs lose a Pika Ditto or something and, and figured, yeah, I could do that. Yeah, maybe. Dogs, it's always dogs might have lost a Pika Ditto. It's always Caleb interesting that people are thinking about that. Even, you know, they think about preparing for their opponent, right? They, they tell themselves, I've got KD3 coming up. Yeah. What's he going to pick? Her dog's got, you know, what's he going to choose? And then it turns into this. But Kiro, uh, I tried to tell him who was in his pool, and he told me not to tell him. He didn't oh, want to. Really? He didn't want to know. Yeah. He said, "Don't tell me. Don't tell him." Very interesting. I would want to know. I like, would want to know too. Yeah, I've never I seen anyone not want to know. Yeah. He didn't want to know. <laughs> Very interesting. But looking like KD3. I assume KD3 is a person who yeah. wants to know, and Dogs is a hundred percent a guy that wants oh, to know. Oh yeah, absolutely. Dogs is uh, a absolutely. studier. He's got notes. Yes. For each person, he's oh, yeah. got to, you know, check that book out. Yeah, he's got like a notepad of like every oh, single yeah. person he's played. Yeah. Show me that one. <laughs> With all their habits and everything. All right, but, and uh, KD3 looking looking strong in the Pika Ditto. Yeah. I think if KD3 wins this, we're gonna see a Falcon regardless. I think I think that's what you gotta do. You gotta you gotta say I gotta play my best character because we all know that Dog's best character is Falcon. His Pika can do it, but oh, Falcon, that ledge cancel. Oh, that was crazy so good. ledge cancel. Yeah, KD3's Pika just looking a little more refined. And both these guys have kind of had a similar path in life. You know, started as Falcon mains and have uh, picked up Pika and recently have, you know, played a lot more at the Pika yeah. Ditto. Yeah. But I think KD3 just kind of started on that path a little earlier than Dogs. Yeah, I would think so too. I think Dogs sort of realized once he got into the upper echelon, it's like, it's nice you, to have, you a, need to have a Pika. You need to have a Pikachu, because the Pika Ditto is just going to happen. I, I, I'm a believer that the Pika Ditto, it is Yeah, kinda, similar path that you took, yeah. actually. <laughs> yes, actually. And so it's a thing where at the upper level, when you have these counterpick wars, the person who is better in the Pikachu Ditto has such a big advantage. Yes. You know? Yes. And it's just going to happen. It's it's just it's just a, a fact of Smash 64. I, I believe that, again, the Pika Ditto is kind of the essence of competitive 64. I really define... I think that the person who wins the Pika Ditto is the better player. That's what I think. Oh, that's what KD3 is looking to prove. And nice weak nair there to take the stock. All right. We... Up to weak nair If bear. I was coaching dog, but like, you got to pick Falcon, man. Well, you got to choose Falcon. So the interesting thing to start is which character KD3 is going to pick. Sure. Will it be the Pikachu? I think regardless, you go Falcon. You got to say, all right, I'm down. Well, I, he need... won. I mean, if he goes Kirby, dog just beat, beat him in Pika Kirby. I find that like doing counter picks and playing like off your main is better earlier than later. It's like, especially in a best of five, this is just my opinion, of course. I think that, like, in a best of five, you want. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we are seeing you the You want Falcon. the Falcon, but yeah. Earlier, I think it's better to test the waters, and then if you're on the back foot, it's time to say the Falcon needs to come out regardless of what's going to happen. This is my so I love seeing character. this because I've lost to KD3 in Pika Falcon when I was the Pika so many times. It's funny seeing him play the matchup as Pikachu. Yeah. It's entertaining. To me. It, it must be like kind of a kind of kicking the ribs a little bit to see all these Falcon players pick up Pikachu, eh? Uh, I mean, I can't say I mind it because, uh, to me personally, I think I have a better shot of beating them <laughs> in the Ditto than I do of beating their Falcon. So, you know, that's that's not too much of a problem. And but it see. is it is entertaining to see how how K3 approaches this matchup as someone that's so good at it from the Falcon side. Sure. And they're well, I can't believe that a B actually hit him. All right, and this find, and it, finds the dash grab. Oh, goes for the back throw. I, I'm not sure that was on purpose. And if that's weird though, because I don't know why he'd be dashing away. Maybe some Ori flick back. 
Yeah, if Picadillos are War of Attrition, this is a battle of volatility. You know, it's a very volatile. Great up E there. Knows the Falcon combo. Very back and forth. Pika can kill off a grab. Falcon can kill off a grab. You know, super back and forth. I think this is definitely, honestly, one of the more exciting matchups. I, I think love this matchup. For so it's yeah. so fun to watch. It sucks kind of play, depending how bad it's happening to you, right? It oh. feels great if you're in the lead. Oh, that's a when big swing. <laughs> Both these guys able to recover in difficult edge guard situations. Neither of them willing to give up their stock, right. but K3 eventually finds that edge guard. What can dogs do with the respawn invincibility? Katie choose doing, options. A little limited on yeah, the edge. Katie doing such a good job of kind of mitigating that damage that's being taken to him. You can see he's holding on to the stock. I love that pivot. Oh, that tech chase that, was so smart yeah. with the short hop backer. That pivot right there. Oh, look at this. Shades of Falcon. You gotta tell me that that pivot. Yeah, that was so that smart. Was Shades of Falcon. Yeah, that sh that might be the whole set on that stock with that short hop back air tech chase. Oh, that di too. He's surviving. He survives oh. again. But gets grabbed. Oh. Wow, great survivability there, coming through from KD3. But he does finally lose the stock. And Dogs using this aerial style, but KD3's Pikachu is just so good. Goes up, he's the ledge. Dogs going in the air a bit more. Katie 3 totally unfazed by it. Anti-airing him beautifully. Oh, no. Look at this. Oh, what a performance from Katie 3 huge. Beating him in matchup Dogs after matchup. Not looking happy. Um, good stuff from KD3. I don't feel like Dogs is playing like particularly bad. I think no. just KD3 was just on it. Yeah, KD3, he was so ready. Near the end of that game, Dog switched to the more aerial style, and yeah. KD3 immediately was catching him yeah. with the anti-air yeah. perfectly. Yeah. I mean, just anti-air, 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 like yeah. there's nothing. And, and KD3 was just the better player today. Maybe we'll see, maybe the, you know, Dogs is still in the bracket. He can come back and face him again. I'd love to see it. And I think, you know, he can definitely get back there and see if he, he can do it for round two. Yeah, yeah, so that was winners, dogs.